Hello, 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 and welcome to today's unboxing. We have second hand, we have new releases, and we have light novels and stuff that isn't actually manga. I hope you enjoy. We are doing top down today because I'm very tired and frazzled and you don't need to see that. And you can see the unboxing in all of its glorious detail. I have been very behind with filming my videos. In fact, today is Tuesday and I am hoping this video will go up on Friday. <laughs> Usually I try to keep a couple of videos ahead, but I've been ill, I've been busy, I've been tired. It's just not gone well the past few weeks and I've ended up sort of eating into my buffer of videos. So I'm hoping to try and build up some more over the next week or so. I was intending this week's video to be my September haul, but my September haul is big. And I didn't think I'd be able to quickly film that in time and edit it. I was worried it'd just be a bit too, too much at once. Technically it is actually my lunch hour, so we're going to try and get through this as quickly as possible so I don't get into trouble. First I'm going to clear the table down so there isn't quite as many boxes because we won't actually be able to see anything. First we're going to start with this box which has technically been opened. Um, I had been expecting something else in the post that wasn't manga and I thought this was it and I opened it and I was like oh shit. So I didn't actually go any further in the moment I realised it was manga so I thought let's pretend it's sealed, let's cut, 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 cool, let's go. So I am quite excited for this one because I think this is a bunch of like new manga, not necessarily new release, though I think actually a lot of it is new release. Cool, so on top we have Grand Blue Dreaming 16, now this is a new release and so this box I think, yeah, it's from Books Please and because I could get, you can get 10% off books please, this worked out cheaper than 3 for 2. I uh, love Grand Blue Dreaming, I'm so excited to read this. This is one of my favourite series, probably one of my top comedy series especially. So that was very exciting. Oh, the cats have come into play and make a lot of noise, damn it cats! Next we have Tales of the Kingdom and I've seen a lot of really good reviews around this series. I don't really know much about what it, I don't know what it's about and uh, there isn't a uh, thing on the back, dang. It is hardcover. I think because I got it on Books Please I got it for about £11, which isn't too bad, though it isn't particularly thick so I am I have high expectations now. Next we have Cat Gamer Volume 2. I love Cat Gamer and Cat Gamer was actually, I read Cat Gamer and I was like, damn, I need a cat, but really bad. Especially since the game, sort of games the main character plays are a lot of the similar to sort of games that I play, like Final Fantasy XIV, and there was a whole bunch about trying to get a 2% drop, and I tried to get a 2% drop off a boss run fought in Final Fantasy XIV like the day before I read it, and I was like, oh my god, I relate. This uh, Dark Horse volumes don't tend to appear as much in My Forbidden Planet, so I was kind of assuming I'd have to be able to try and pick it up online. Because I wasn't sure what it's 3 for 2 prices, because it doesn't appear in Forbidden Planet, I kind of just went for 11 99 so anything cheaper than 7 99 I'd have to pick up and that's how much I got it for. Next we have Magic Arts and Dahlia Wilts No More Volume 2. This is an isekai. It is not a villainess isekai as most of the female lead isekais are. This is really good, I really enjoy it. She so we do start the Isekai when she is a child, but she is aged up quite quickly in the first volume. She kind of has to try and make a life for herself. It's actually really similar to Ascendance of a Bookworm, where she is like creating inventions and stuff that she's kind of missed from her previous life on Earth, like a hairdryer is the one that I can think of. Waterproof clothing is another one. This one is a bit more mature because she's an adult and some bad things happen to her in volume one and then good things happen. I don't want to spoil it because I, I really, really enjoyed it and I have been waiting for volume two for quite a while. So this is definitely going to be one of the first volumes I read after this video. The Splendid Work of a Monster Maid Volume 3. I loved this series. This is such a wonderful series. I do think it's actually complete. I can't remember how many volumes. The art style is lovely. I kind of, I really like the premise, which is these like, this like demon king has lost all his powers and it's sort of been scattered to all these other creatures around the world and his m monster maids kind of go around trying to collect the power so he can get it back, I think. But the art style is so pretty and I like the characters and it's so fun. And this is probably like, I'm not a big fan of horror at all. I won't, I, I don't like horror. 
So in terms of like spooky Halloween reads, this is probably something I would recommend for like my kind of level. Next we have Delicious In. Delicious, where's the camera? Delicious In Dungeon. There is an in in the title, which uh, my partner and I didn't notice till I think he'd got to like volume eight. Delicious in Dungeon 11. So I am not up to date with this series. I've only read up to I think volume four or volume five. My partner is up to date and is very excited and has been very annoyed. I haven't been filming this video, so we can't read it yet. I have a feeling that this was announced for an anime. I'm not too sure though. I definitely saw some like, trailer stuff but I don't know if that was like fan made. This is very fun and I really really do enjoy my food based series. This is like fantasy meets food so it's like I don't know why I'm not up to date because it's got like so much stuff that I like. Ah cats why do you run like that you'll hurt yourself. Next we have Perfect World Volume 12. This is the final volume in the series and it's definitely a series where I feel like the cover is a spoiler <laughs> for the end of the series. I am only up to, I've only read up to volume 10, pretty much I'd bought volume 11, by the time volume 11 had arrived I'd already ordered volume 12 so I was like I'm gonna hold off and read 11 and 12 together, so I'm gonna do that now and be able to complete the series and see how it ends. Next we have Living Room Matsunaga in volume 11, this is also the final volume in the series, there's actually quite a few final volumes in this box, it's wonderful. I had been really enjoying this series, there's a few things that have happened in the last volume or two that I'm a little less keen on. Uh, I can kind of tell which way it's gonna go. I think there's a couple of things I'd rather had happened differently but I don't want to say anything else yet because I've not finished it. Uh, I, I, no, it's final volume. I can't show you pages. I, I just want to see how it ends now, I think. Next we have Nechisaro volume three. I really want to preface this with this is NTR I'm not enjoying it because of the NTR. I find I read a lot of Faku volumes now and so far the ones I prefer are definitely the ones that have like a ongoing story. A lot of them are like every chapter is a one shot and there's just sort of a theme to all the chapters. Whereas I definitely have like I like the ones where there's a story to it and this is like one of the very few ones that I've read with a story and it's actually complete a three volumes so this is technically another series complete. I think every character in this is not very good. They're all a bit shit. So I want to see who gets comeuppance. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it though by the way. There are better Faku series I think. Finally in this box we have Those Not So Sweet Boys volume 7. This is another final volume. How wonderful is that? This is just such a box of finales, finishes. Oh my. I've been waiting to pick this one up for a while. This volume has been out for a while but I haven't picked it up because it's not been on sale. I have in the meantime read the other two English print series by the same author and so far I didn't really enjoy them. This, those Not So Sweet Boys is still probably the, I say my favourite of the lot, but I've, I enjoyed the first few volumes and then I've been a bit unsure with the later volumes. And having read That Wolf Boy Is Mine, this feels like a improved version of that and without the wolf boy, animal boy sort of aspect to it. Though That Wolf Boy Is Mine is only four volumes, though actually I think there's also omnibuses now, so only two omnibuses. I still think this one's better so far. Let's see this big Blackwell's parcel. <laughs> so most of what I've ordered on Blackwell's has been just discounted stuff, so they're all a bit over the place. So I think all three of these are the same series. Yes, it is 789 of Gal Goen. Uh, these were all, I think, about six pounds each. Six pounds or less than seven pounds at least. I've read one and two or just volume one. I can't remember. It was a fine series. I liked the focus on food. I'm less sure on the relationship with the teacher but I'll only find out what happens to that when I read a bit more. They are quite thin, so I am definitely glad I managed to get these discounted. I am only missing two volumes, I think, till I'm now complete on the series. It is a 10 volume series, and I think I'm missing like four and 10. Yeah, four and 10, and then I'll be complete. So next is a light novel that I've picked up for my partner for Christmas, and that is Suppose a Kid from the Last Dungeon Boonies Moved to a Starter Town, volume seven. I've been really enjoying the manga. I'll show you, here, look, look at some words. I've been really enjoying the manga, it's very silly and slapstick 
and I've got him I think the first couple of volumes of the light novel so this was I think for like 4 dollars on Blackwell so I was like why not feels really feels kind of nice that's so weird I know how to describe it the last volume in here is Blue Giant volume the omnibus 5 to 6 so I picked this up for six pounds how wild is that I'm fairly sure it retails in Forbidden Planet for like $16.99 or something like that. So picking up for £6 is wild, even though this is now the only volume I have. It has been on my want to try list for quite a while now, so I wasn't too bothered. And it's only the third omnibus, so I'm missing two till I'll be up to date. I also think there's five omnibuses, so I think there's ten volumes, so five omnibuses, yeah, until it's complete. It is about music. And that, that, that's about the limit of my knowledge, unfortunately. Oh look, drum kit! I think I'm <laughs> slightly right. What are you doing? You're making so much noise, cat. Let's do some World of Books then. So I think most of these are light novels. So on top we have In Another World with... Oh dear. On top we have In Another World with my smartphone volume 1. I hadn't realised it was published by J Novel Club. I have been reading the manga and I know my partner has watched the anime, but the anime completes at one series and kind of wraps up. Weirdly, in his opinion. And he was like, I'm not sure I want to read the light novel, but I saw it second hand and I was like, well, he's going to read the light novel now. It is pretty much as the title says, he's been used to another world with his smartphone. I've had to close the curtains a little bit because the sun was like right in my eyes. Hopefully it doesn't look too dark still. Also, if you hear any weird noises, it's the damn cats. So the next light novel we have is Combatants Will Be Dispatched Volume 1. So my partner has also read the... Let's not show the inside. So my partner has read the manga of this and I thought he might be interested in the light novel. I think I've picked him up the second light novel. It is the same author as Konosuba, I think. Or does it not say? Or is it the same manga artist for the mangas? I'm not sure. Either way, something to do with Konosuba. Actually, this art, this like layout looks the same as Konosuba. Next manga we have is The Hero is Overpowered but Overly Cautious, Volume 1. Another one where I have the manga, he's read the manga, and I very much enjoy the manga, and I saw the light novel discounted. So I don't think I've paid more than about £5.50 for any single one of these light novels. I managed to get them all both secondhand and then some discounts on top of that. It's quite easy to find discounts for World of Books. Next we have Death March to the Paralleled Rhapsody Volume 2. He is almost up to date on this series. He's just missing volumes two and three. So I would really, 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 really happy to see this one secondhand. Because of that, he hasn't cons even considered starting reading this yet. So maybe after Christmas when he gets this, he might actually start reading the series considering he's nearly up to date on all of his like favorite um, light novels. Final volume in this is Ascendance of a Bookworm, part three, volume five, and this is the only volume he will have of this. This was, I think, £3.60. Normally it's over £10 a volume because not only is it J Novel Club, but it's quite thick. Very, very happy to pick this one up. Uh, I'm not sure he'll be as happy because we've got quite a few volumes to pick up before I could even consider reading this one. Do another world of books. Uh, Actually, yeah, I'll start opening it and then we'll go back to some manga stuff. So first off, we have ReZero12. He has been unsure about if we wanted to start reading the light novels. They are quite hard to find from my what I've seen. Or they're definitely retail, if not more than retail. Okay, since it fell out, there's also volume 11 of ReZero. Volume 11 feels brand new. That is absolutely insane. These were, yeah, both about £5. That one's a bit crinkled, but not like as much. He is actually currently reading the manga, so he might be a little less keen now p reading the light novels, but I had started picking up the light novels, I think, before we started reading the manga. I think I have about five volumes of this now, just not in any conceivable order. Next we have Sword Erasure. Is it wrong to pick up girls? Sword Erasure volume one. I had accidentally picked up like volume five of this light novel because I thought it was a manga. <sighs> the problem of series with both light novels and manga. So he's got that one and I thought, oh, volume one, he could actually potentially read it if he so chooses, though I don't think he's read the main series yet, so he'd have to read that first maybe? I don't know. I don't know, Sp spin-offs are such a pain sometimes. Next so we have Spy Classroom 3, which I think is fairly new, actually. Let's check, does it? Fairly new, it says May 2022, goodness. And yeah, it was about £5-ish, I think. He has one and two, though I don't think he started reading it yet. I think he wants to try and pick up some, like, 
start reading some more of his like shorter one volume or a couple of volume series especially over Christmas when we're off for most of Christmas so that might be one of the ones he picks up. Next we have Konosuba volume 10 and this is definitely got some secondhand damage in the form of this bad crease right here. I know he's read the first volume, not sure if he's read any more. He's watched the- we've watched the- both watched the anime. He hasn't read the manga. I'm reading the manga though. I think it's complete now, isn't it? The light novel, like 16 or 17 volumes, which will be really neat. It'll be one of his first completed light novel series. Let's do some manga. In here we've got... Yes! Seventh time loop, the villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. I've been really excited for this one because it's a new villainess, Isakari. I saw it in London when I was there a couple of weeks ago and I was like, no, I've got it on pre-order. What I should have done is picked it up and cancelled my pre-order. Never mind. Got it now. Oh no, I want to read this one first now too. Let's do another Blackwell's pre-order. We have got... Eden 018. So I actually had a whole bunch of Kodansha volumes about this size on pre-order for 696, which is almost cheap. No, 660. 6.60. I think it was 6.60. About cheaper than the three for two. These used to be 9.99. Now they are around 11.99 in store, which means their three for two price has gone up, unfortunately. So I had a whole bunch of Eden Zero, I have a bunch of Vampire Dormitory and Lovesick Ellie and another couple of series. I think I have like Apothecary Diaries 7 and 8 on pre-order or something. <laughs> this has been really good to read, I've been enjoying this. It wasn't actually that long ago I read volume 17 because it took me quite a while to get that volume. So it's still quite fresh in my- Ew, it's sticky! Why is it Blackwell's volume being so sticky? Let's do this lone wob. Ooh, we have Demon Love Spell Volume 5. So I got this for, I think, £4.70, I think, which is actually about 3 for 2 price, and it's quite a hard series to find. I've had volumes, where are my volumes? 1, 2, and 4 for a long time. I got Volume 1 from Tiffany when we did a box exchange. I can't remember, she also gave me Volume 2, I might have to check that. But it is only a six volume series, but it's been really, really hard to find them. So when I saw this pop up for, like, a decent price, I was like, finally. So I think so far my only gripe is I can't I can't get over how pointy his chin is. It's like it's gonna skewer her in the eye. Ow, 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 ow. Let's do another black quells. We've got Lazy Dungeon Master, which I think is this an isekai? Potentially an isekai. Either way, it does sound like my kind of deal. I do like dungeon stuff, fantasy stuff, and like running dungeon. Quite similar. It's like similar to like dungeon people. I've not read it yet. It might be completely different. Oh, I do like colour pages at the front. I feel like I could already make a wild guess that this is going to be a very average series. It's going to be fine. I'm going to enjoy reading it, but it's not going to be something that I'd like immediately recommend. But this could be me being horrendously judgy. Back to a world of books parcel. Oh, there's three. I'll just pull them all out. So we have Acel World Volume 13. This is the same author as Sword Art Online. I've been picking up these series, like this series, like really sporadically. He has some real random volumes, but they're, like they're often really cheap. Like I think this is like three pounds each or something. Also, the spines look the same as the Sword Art Online light novels. Next, we have How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom Volume 7. He's read the first volume of this and really enjoyed it, so he doesn't have any more um, currently. So he has, I think, volume like 10 and another one, and now he's volume 7. They're surprisingly not too bad to pick up considering how thick they are. This was like £5. I like thick volumes for cheap. And finally, I picked up Torch Princess Friend... Friend Torturin? Volume 1? I don't know anything about this except it was cheap for like four pounds and I thought I'd try making him read it and see what he thought. Not too many parcels left. We're gonna do this strange, very sellotaped one. Can I get this open without getting my scissors? Oh my gosh, just peel it. I suppose. Uh, 
Okay, on top we have Restaurant to Another World Volume 2. Uh, he also quite enjoys food, manga, light novel stuff. I've read some of the manga, I've not finished it. The light novel I think is going way longer than the manga, so I assume the story goes a lot, lot further. So I thought he might be interested in trying that one, even if it's volume 2. Dug in a little because I knew there was more. We've got three light novels for Goblin Slayer. We have seven, four, and six. He's read the first one and enjoyed it and said that it might be one of the series he might want to pick up once he's caught up on some other ones. So I thought, well, I've seen three for a good price. I'll grab those for him. They all look <laughs> remarkably good condition. Oh, it's got a bit of a bend, but still. Oh gosh. Next we have another ReZero Volume 3. So probably I think the earliest volume he has is that... Where does this take place? Oh, this is during the second arc. That's interesting. <laughs> Considering it's on like 17, how far ahead is it compared to the manga? So I do, I do hope he enjoys that one. Devil's a Part-Timer Volume 5. He hasn't started reading this one. I keep picking up these volumes because they're always really, really cheap. I don't know if it says something about the series or not. I know the manga, sorry, I know the anime is really well loved, but I don't know how much that is just the animation style or the story. I've only read a couple of manga volumes. I don't know too much myself. This was like three pounds. I'll pull, pull out the last two. So we've got Sword Art Online Volume 22. He is now nearly completely up to date with this light novel. He's missing, I think, one. It might be like vol volume 21. He's only read the first one so far, and I will be honest, I was really surprised when he said that the Ironcrad arc wrapped up in one volume. That feels completely wild to me, especially since it's now in 22 volumes. Like, I know some of the other arcs, but what happens after all those? And then finally in this box, we have the Asterix War volume one. I have picked him up some other random volumes from this series. I've seen some people say good things, so I was hoping it'll be one that he likes, but I don't really know much more about it otherwise. So there's one more World of Books parcel, but we're gonna go back to some other stuff first. So I think there's only two books in this one, so we'll just pull them out and ditch. So we have Fam Vampires Volume 1, which is my first volume by Demper Books. I think they don't publish too much. There we go. First volume by Demper Books. My understanding is it's a GL romance, which intrigues me. I do enjoy vampire stories, so why not try a GL one? And next we have Don't Toys Me, Ms. Negatory Volume 11, which does mean I am now up to date with the series because I picked up 12 recently. I got this way cheaper than 3 for 2. I think I got it for like 5 99 Very, very happy with that. I love how bright it is. Okay, we're gonna open this one. It keeps standing up to make sure that the camera is focusing right. <laughs> God damn it books please! It's like past the parcel but with my manga. Okay so in here we've only got two volumes. Oh and some bookmarks. Wonderful. And the cat's playing in the cardboard. Oh the plastic stripped. That's a shame. So on top we have the Sensei's Pi Pius Pius lie volume one i've heard lots of people say all the topics are not very nice but it's a really good read so i'm very interested in trying this one though it is quite an expensive series i got this i think for 13 pounds on uh, books please which is still verging in too much for me for volume there is i think going to be like five volumes but i don't think they're all out i think there's only three out at the moment but it's plastic wrap, so I can't show you the inside. Next we have Daughter of the Emperor, volume one. I assume this is a, yeah, this is like a full color. Oh my, goodness me. Oh goodness me. Is it a manwa then? Because they seem to do all their manwas in color. Interested to check this one out. I've seen a lot of people enjoy it, so I hope I do too. Okay, last world of books, and then we've got that massive parcel, and then we're done. Okay, I'm gonna pull everything out again. So on top we have Infinite Dendogram, volume 9 I think? I think my partner's read the first one. I can't remember what he said about it though. Again, picked it up for about £5. I think I picked this one up for about £5 and it's J Novel Club so that's not too bad. Next is not a line novel, it's a manga and it's Natsumi's Book of Friends, volume 9. I recently discovered that this is a manga that my sister is currently reading and up to date. My sister do doesn't tell me nothing. And I'm like, God damn it, Neve's reading it. I need to read this. I need to read something that she's reading. If it's like, of all the manga in my collection, and this is like 
the only one that she's up to date with. I need to catch up to her, but I do understand it's quite a hard series to find volumes for, but I am now on the hunt. <laughs> Next we have another volume of The Asterix War, and it's volume 10 again. I hope he enjoys it. This one is a little bit more battered, but not by much, to be fair. That's not too bad. And then the final volume in this parcel is The Wandering Witch, The Journey of Lena, volume 8. I've really, really enjoyed the manga, so I really hope he likes the light novels. I think I've got him, like, the first couple so far. Also, I saw this cover and I was like, this is autumnal, this is so autumnal, this, oh, this aesthetic, I need to pick it up because it matches my nails, aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I think I might need to clear this table up before I can bring the big parcel on, so I'll just quickly do that. I'm not sure how much of it's going to be entirely visible on camera, I'm hoping most of it. Um, so this is a parcel from Travelling Man, and I must say, goodness me, I ordered this parcel at like 2pm on a Thursday and it arrived about 11 on the Friday. It was insanely good turnaround time. You do need to hit um, £60 to get free delivery, though because of something I wanted to pick up that wasn't too hard. So let's, oh my gosh, such an intense box. Oh wow, come on. Okay, so I think I've rearranged the camera so you can really see into it now. So let's uncover. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds neat, a gaming con. Okay, so let's go through the manga and then I'll grab the st big thing at the bottom. So first off, we have Pokemon Adventures Black White Volume 3. This has been really hard to find. I'm still missing one volume from Black and White Adventures, but yeah, it's been really- I got loads of them really easily secondhand and like library copies and stuff, and then I think 3 and 7 or 3 and 8 have been like- I can't- couldn't find them, let alone get them cheap. It was very annoying. And then they saw they had this one for 3 for 2 price and I was like, I'm gonna grab it! Where do I- where do I put it? The whole table is just box. Do you want it, cat? Will you hold my manga for me, cat? Oh no. No, do I actually hold my volume for me? Okay, next I have Black Clover 30, which is the new release. Also got this for 3 for 2 price. Very, very happy. Love Black Clover. I've been looking out for this volume because I knew it was coming for quite a while. Again, do I read this first? Next we have Big Hero 6 Volume 1. I do like to pick up my very strange licensed manga. I do have quite a lot of Disney stuff as well. I'm not sure which publisher this is, though. Because when I googled it, I thought it came up with like conjunction. Yem, oh, Yem Press. JY is an imprint of. JY is an imprint of Yem Press. Okay. So I'll probably put it on my spreadsheet as Yem Press. Maybe I was wrong with the conjunction. But yeah, so I think there's only two volumes for this. It was, I think, like $5.99 and it's meant to be like $9.99 or more. I, yeah, I don't expect it to be amazing, but that's not the point. <laughs> Next we have Emakoi Volume 3. I'm very much enjoying Emakoi. All the dudettes have been enjoying Emakoi. I really love how well the characters communicate in this series. Have been very much looking out for this volume as well. And looked out for it in London, looked out for it in Leeds, and then they had it on Travelling Man for 3 for 2 price, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Next we have the Elusive Samurai Volume 2. Little saddened that the spines aren't going to be rainbow coloured and they're not going to match the cover because just yeah I was hoping I was hoping for rainbow this was a fine series I'm not sure volume one was enough for me to get into it I'm going to need some more reading I think there was a lot of like setting up and premise in volume one oh, two more so the next is Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible volume three very light-hearted series I've not read my volume two yet so I'll be able to read both volumes two and three at the same time which is really nice. And finally, I have Romantic Killer Volume 1. I picked this up for $7.99 on Travelling Man, which is cheaper than its 3 for 2 price because it, oh, it's a bit damaged. That's a shame. Um, it's 3 for 2, it is $13.99, and that is because it is full colour. But $13.99, it's 3 for 2 price would put it about £9 something. So $9.99 is cheaper than I'd be able to get it in store. So I was like, yep, I'm going to jump on that and grab that and see what it's about. I know there's been a lot of controversy around the series regarding its 
placement under Shoujo B. And the final thing in here, I'm gonna get rid of the box now. <laughs> and the final thing in here that is reflecting really badly is an advent calendar. It is an escape room escape room advent calendar that I bought for my partner and I to share for Christmas. I got this for £28. I've d they do like boxes, like in, in a box escape room and we did one and that was really fun and I thought let's try doing something different for an advent calendar. I think at the moment we have this and we have a gin advent calendar I think, so I think our plan is to like share a glass of gin with lemonade and do an escape room puzzle every day up to Christmas, which I'll be honest, I am very excited for. <laughs> Your pre-Christmas ski trip definitely hasn't gone as planned just as you are taking a break and enjoying the crystal clear mountain air, you hear a noise and see a terrifying avalanche crossing down the mountains towards you. Your heart is in your throat. You hastily grab your seven things. What? Your seven things. Very excited. Yeah, and got this for 28 pounds. Can't wait till Christmas. That was today's unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting seeing like quality of secondhand manga, seeing all this new release stuff. Even though it wasn't necessarily all manga, there was a bunch of light novels and that was my <laughs> advent calendar. Still, I hope you liked it. Why not leave me a comment down below what you thought? What did you think of the things I picked up? Of the quality, the light novels, the advent calendar, the manga, the different places that I picked up up from do let me know in theory the next video should be my september haul if not it'll be the week after i do definitely try to get my like monthly hauls out at least the month after the month even if it's like the last weekend in the following month which has happened the past couple of months i'm going to try and build up like my buffer of videos again so i'm going to try and start filming some like recommendation videos especially around isekai because i read a lot of isekai and a lot of it is really really shit so i want to share the really good ones with you I'm gonna film some of those at some point too. So yes, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe for lots of manga content that's coming your way. Otherwise, I hope you have the most wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.